is no use. The knee actuator and bypass circuit are both ruined. The actuator can be fixed, but the circuit needs to be replaced. Why did he have to kill the dragon by kicking it in the face? Oh, having trouble sleeping there. Yeah. I imagine you would. You've had quite a day. You see how he kicked that dragon in the face to kill it. This is the machine Faye used when the village was attacked. There was another machine left sitting in the outskirts of the village. Nail bear bars, Legos. But that was yours, right? Just as I thought. The missing pilot from the gear that made an emergency landing, Lahan. The mysterious woman found wandering lost in the forest. You're actually the same person, aren't you? Judging from your uniform, I'd also say you're with the military. Am I correct? Who the fuck are you, old man? I checked the ID tags of the soldiers who died in the attack. The design of the tags and the design on your uniform is exactly the same. Oh shit, you're Columbo! Don't worry, they were given proper burials. But they may not have been too pleased to die in a foreign land. Who are you, old man? What do you know? Does Faye know about you? I don't think he realized yet. Most likely, he knows nothing of the world outside Lahan. Sure he doesn't. Alright, uh, so how come... In any case, it's best if we don't pry into each other's past anymore. I have a lot more to hide than you, after all. But... Let's just say that I know a little more about the world than most do. Of course you do. Of course you do, Saiten. Anyway, Ellie, I have a favor I must beg you to do. What's that? Fuck off. Go straight ahead, you'll come to a road. And just keep going. Would you leave us while he's still asleep? Unfortunate things keep happening around Faye. I'd like to protect him if possible. I don't want him caught up in any vain struggles. I'm also saying this for your benefit. Ellie, you don't belong here. Oh, how wrong you are. Go back to your family. Uh, I, uh, don't worry. I won't tell Faye what your true identity is. I'll just tell them you went to meet up with your family. It's not that. I, I did something terrible to him. I wanted to apologize. Something terrible. He told me it was our fault the village was destroyed. He kept saying, if only they hadn't come. And then I acted like an asshole and blamed him. But in fact, I was really the one who was to blame. If I hadn't crash landed there, they'd all still be living peacefully now. Yeah, see? Kind of, but also... Graft was there, and we know that fucker doesn't screw around when he's playing dice with God. All those innocent people wouldn't have been caught up in that tragedy, but I accused Faye. Eh, you're a rarity. I didn't expect your people would ever think like that. Your people, surface dwellers, are nothing more than domesticated animals, are they not? The shepherds, Abel, took control over the surface-dwelling lambs, possessing the right to give life and death unto them as they see fit. Exactly, yet you seem to feel some responsibility towards Faye and the villagers. Why is that? I really don't know. At Jungand, or Jugend, I was taught the surface dwellers were stupid and base. And that's why we have to control them, but... Well, then I met Faye and I'm all about that base. Ah, yes, you met Faye and you were all about that base. Yes, he's no different than we are. In fact, he seems more powerful. More based. He possesses something, something we don't. Also, he risks his life to save me twice. You told me he punched a dragon to death? Most of the people would feel ashamed at receiving such an act. Emasculated, even. I'm a woman, Saiten. Even counts for you, too, yeah. But you feel grateful instead of emasculated. I'm a woman. Probably because of my father. He had an open mind to surface dwellers. My nanny was a surface dweller too. No one knew about her though. Besides, I'm the same as Faye. The same? No, nothing. Never mind. I feel like she's half surface dweller or some nonsense like that. I forget what that part of her story is. 
But yes, also, I should point out, it's a 25-year-old game. I will be talking about spoilers and being very passive-aggressive toward all of these characters because um, some of them need a good person to come along and tell them to go fuck themselves. Uh, Saiten and Ellie, especially in this scene. I think I understand. I'm sorry. After just saying we shouldn't pry. Well, it's my nature, you know. My wife says I'm too persistent that I talk too much. But we both know that's not true, since you don't know who I really am. But personally, I don't think it, I, I talk too much at all. You wouldn't. It's probably best you return home to your country. You really should not be here. Alright, I'll return to headquarters, but... Then what? You're worried? Well, yeah, I failed a mission and lost military-grade technology to some random guy who punches dragons to death. Like, that's gonna show up on the radar a little bit. Well, worrying is natural. <laughs> Even I used to worry once too, you know? Oh, what happened? Well, you see, I punched a dragon to death and I stopped worrying about life so much. Holy shit, you punched a dragon to death too? Anyway, let me handle what to tell Faye. You better go now. We're being very loud, and I'm sure he hasn't heard any of this. So is Ellie gone? Oh, so, so you, you heard everything. Yeah, I woke up halfway, so I only heard the part of what you two were discussing. Hmm. Ah, so that's who she was. Uh, yeah, Faye, she, um... Yeah, I know, I know, it's not her fault. What happened to the village is really all my fault. Considering who you are, and who Graf is, and... The greater narrative story behind what happened in this world. That's possibly the most accurate thing you've said, but not for the reasons you think, Faye. Not for the reasons you think at all. I took out all my pent-up feelings on Ellie. I'm the one who should apologize. Faye, that's very mature, but also, um, no, don't do that. We, we really don't want you feeling stressed right now. It, it's, bad for, it's bad for my health. I mean, it's bad for your health, Faye. You were just trying to protect the village. Thanks, Doc. By the way, how's everyone from the village going? Oh, don't worry. Yui's taking care of them there. I told her to leave soon and take them all to a certain place. I'm going through the forest first to make sure it's safe, because it's the only way out. After all, we wouldn't send you along a deadly path if there was another way to take out of this forest, would we, Faye? Uh, they should be safe for a while. You don't have to worry about... You just have to worry about yourself for now. Okay. Now, to think what we should do next. Shall we leave this forest and head for the desert? We may learn what Ava and Kislev are up to, not to mention getting some parts for Weltall. The leader of Ava is not going to sit back and let another, the other night's fiasco go by unpunished. Get in the death mech! Kill them all! A uh, Saiten's in the party now. <laughs> 